YouTube salute. Keith Thurman said he's going to stand his ground when he fights Manny Pacquiao July 20th. He said Pacquiao is a smaller guy. He's not a real true welterweight. And he's going to push him back all around the ring. I caught an interview on Fight Hub TV. The article is in the description. Um, so you can check it out for yourself. Keith Thurman basically talked about how this is his second um, fight from his two-year layoff. Um, he's feeling great. Um, two trainers, strength and conditioning coaches, um, that's helping him push and keeping his diet on, on track. He feels faster, stronger, um, better lateral movement since the Jose Cito Lopez um, fight in January 2019. Keith Thurman also feels that Pacquiao is more offensive than defensive, which is true. And he wanted his sparring partners to go home, watch film of Manny Pacquiao, and try to replicate that same type of fighting style when they spar. Because he says he doesn't feel he's going to run around the ring. He wants to stand right in front of Manny Pacquiao and trade blows with him and let him know I'm the bigger man. And you messed up fighting me. My perspective about this is I'm not mad at Keith Thurman, number one, for making money because, you know, he's in the sport to make his money. Do your thing. Number two, Pacquiao is about to be 41 years old. I'm not giving you no props if you beat Pacquiao. Not at all. But you should be fighting Keith. I mean, you should be fighting Errol Spence or Terrence Crawford, but you chose not to. Everybody knows that. So you beating up a Pacquiao is just for you to put a name on your resume. Number two, you want, you know, to make your money. Like I said, I'm not tripping off that. And you just want to be the A-side when it's time to fight Errol Spence. If you ever fight him or Crawford, you want to fight. I'm the A-side. I'm the A-side. I fought Pacquiao. I got all those pay-per-view vibes. You didn't get all the pay-per-view vibes. Because if that this fight gets 400,000, 500,000 pay-per-view vibes, it's going to be because the majority of Pacquiao followers, not your followers. Keep telling this is your first pay-per-view event. I'm not knocking you. Congratulations. But to, at the end of the day, you know, you have fought Sean Porter. You have fought a Danny Garcia. You had, you held the WBC and the WBA titles simultaneously. So I'm not going to knock, knock you for that. But you coming back into the groove of things, I respect that. I know this is your last fight for the year 2019. And you say you're not fighting until 2020. So hopefully we'll get an Errol Spence. Hopefully we'll get a, um, a Terrence Crawford fight. We'll see how it works out. We don't know yet. Um, Pacquiao, he has nothing to lose. Pacquiao wins. Hey, all I got to say is Pacquiao's still a man to me because he could have did a Floyd Mayweather move, duck and dodge the fighters in a prime at the welterweight division, but he chose to fight the top tier guys. You know, so Pacquiao, I salute you for that because you didn't have to do that. You could have easily fought some trash can tomato can fighter just to get, you know, some money. But you went to PBC, you left top rank, you did your thing. So ain't nobody even looking at Pacquiao. We're looking at Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman, you better go out there and do what you need to do. Keith Thurman's already talking about this fight. Now it's going to go past three rounds. We'll see. We'll see. Post your comments below. Hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support, note it to my channel. I have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, peace.